Breaking news, large parts of Britain are set to experience a very cold weekend. And in other news, identical twins are apparently not identical. However, I am certain that the Hodge twins are identical and they would be screaming Snap City at the boy band formerly known as FaZe Clan. I thought I already made my one and only FaZe Clan joke. Introducing famous gamer FaZe Sensor, now known as Sensor. He grew out of that phase until I saw their fitness videos. <laughs> oh Introducing phase virus. Not the best timing, fellas. And so this video is not against gaming. You should see my turning circles. Video games are an incredible technology and people get a great amount of happiness out of them. And I do watch some gaming material on YouTube when I'm not watching Mr. Bean videos, sorry, fitness influencer videos. But having said that, FaZe Clan makes some stupid videos. Let's go on FaZe Clan, it's the outdoor phase after today. And I get it, gaming is a huge genre on YouTube. These blokes are part of a famous team and they cross over to becoming famous YouTubers. And when you are a famous YouTuber, it's an obligation to do stupid stuff on camera for 12 year olds. And I instantly recognize these two fellas, AKA summer race backup dancers and so phase clan with phase adapt if that is your real name mate and all the phases like to do strength challenges on their channel it is a common youtube video to make from genres outside of fitness and it gets millions of views as do mukbangs and eating challenges oh! And so here are a pair of videos that caught my eye. And to be fair, this dude has nailed the roll up the t-shirt, bicep curl, screaming to camera pose. World's strongest man versus FaZe Clan. Who's that then? Is Glenn Ross knocking about in the back somewhere? Bradley Martin, a legit lifter of course when he's not doing hoverboard tricks. Looking like daddy with the stepkids there. But not a world's strongest man, competitor or champion. These two are, and they're going to punch each other in the face soon. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Bro, as soon as Jarvis was off, Tico and me just started getting pulled. Then Tico let go and I just got flung like 10 foot. No, mate, you bunny hopped across the line like a complete donut. Did Summer Ray teach you that one? <laughs> And so the FaZe boys invited Tristan Lee to do a collaboration, a strength challenge with them. And the exercise selections were push-ups, planks, who did planks, wall sits, leg press machine, bicep curl, obviously. And this is the least risky of their strength challenges. So when you're watching this, remember that this is as good as it gets. And so by the way, Tristan Lee, who is now 18 years old, so I feel comfortable putting him in my video, but this guy's been pretty famous since he was about aged 15. And a stream of fitness YouTubers decided to inspect his body when he was 15. And this dude is a great actor because he's standing there politely and not bursting out laughing with a comedy that's unfolding before his eyes. Spoiler alert, Tristan wins everything. Push-up challenge, Tristan wins. 5, 96, 97, 98, 99, oh! 100. Oh! Oh my! Wall squat, Tristan wins. Oh man, this dish is on fire, man. <laughs> Dumbbell curl, Tristan wins. And I hate this exercise done as a one rep max strength challenge. I'll get to that later. Tristan, don't do that on camera, mate. Oh! Plank, Tristan wins. Leg press, didn't watch it. I'd imagine Tristan wins. Don't do it, Bradley. Phase Neo, dream on, son. Phase Flea, when they were handing out phases, this guy was obviously at the back of the queue with that name, but it's still pulling dope shapes on his thumbnail. Like a king. And so the strength challenge from NSYNC, which made me go anabolic. And it's ridiculous nonsense, which needs to be cut out from channels such as that. They have frequent offerings of this nonsense. I clicked on this one and it has loads of dumbbells in it. And get ready, it's Snap City time. On the Face Clan G-Shock watch. And so I've been through this before with the KSI video. Performing one rep maxes brings about risk to it. And that is why trained, competent fitness enthusiasts, for example, if performing them at all, will do them as part of a well-planned program and of course when they are highly competent with performing the movement and their body is prepared to take that stress and when i see these youtube celebrities performing these one rep maxes for views they're not competent with the movements and for me it's not worth the risk and they could just rename the dumbbell curl challenge how to tear your biceps in 10 seconds whilst rocking the flip-flops <laughs> Is screaming a lot the key to YouTube success? Hold on, let me try. How was that? Does he need that lumbar spine tomorrow? Even the dog's had enough. 
the smartest one in the room. So we're gonna start on chest press. We're gonna start with 225 pounds, see so you can all do it once. And so to the bench press strength challenge. And this is my point to people who may be fans of the FaZe Clan who are screaming at me and don't understand why this is risky to them. Their exercise execution is not proficient. For example, they're not using a correct range of motion because the weight is too heavy for them. Put simply, this guy should be nowhere near that load because it risks damage to the associated muscles with that movement. He's half repping it because once unracked, his body is going, what the hell is this? But at least he has professional spotters in case something goes wrong. No, 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 no. It's gonna, I was just like, it's gonna be hard. His muscle fibers and his nervous system have not been prepared to perform that movement with that load. <laughs> But what the hell, eh? You can look at the bar path, you can look at the bar leaning to one side, and again, the risk of injury when performing a one rep max. And to be clear, it's not like they're learning the movements using a sub-maximal load and developing and progressing with a fitness professional teaching them, which, which would be absolutely fine. The problem is not somebody's exercise execution not being great and they're developing. The problem is these people performing these strength challenges whilst in that state. And there are so many people in this community who can explain in the comments the issues with how they're performing the bench press. And like my scrambled eggs, it's a recipe for disaster. And to the winner of the bench press competition, Apex. Do that. Oh, shit. All right, ready? Let's go. Push. Oh. And I get that they have their gaming names, that's absolutely fine. But when they're in a room together, you know, in person, bit weird not to call each other by their real human names. And sorry, I have to copyright trap lord. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> Zero. Apex must have been taking his G Fuel. No, not Hype Sauce, which sounds just fantastic, but the FaZe Clan energy drink. And let my favorite website, TikTok, sell it to you. And I call this video too much personality for one advert. You have to guess what flavor this is of G Fuel. Okay, I'm putting it in your hand. FaZe Berry. <gasps> Blue Ice? <gasps> no. Strawberry, for sure. If it tastes a little different than just strawberry. Touch up. Chocolate. I love this bit. Zero sugar. Unlike our competitors who rely on loads of sugar to provide you with a false sense of energy, we don't, which means zero crash. Instead, we put 140 milligrams of caffeine in it because there's no crash with caffeine. And so of course, caffeine is fine to take. It's an ergogenic aid. I have science-based videos where I explain this. I'm not against caffeine. I just find their marketing amusing. And I don't know, it's not unrealistic to think that a gamer might have two of these drinks over a day whilst they're gaming, which would be 280 milligrams of caffeine. So my point really here is just be aware of how much caffeine is in something if you are taking it, but you can't be aware of the other substances in it because they're prop blends, which keeps the production costs low, which increases profit margins and means that the consumer doesn't know the exact dosages of certain substances, so they can't determine how effective it is for need. But at least it's not like spit or anything. I promise it's it's not like spit or anything. And so strength challenges from other genres in YouTube, where the participants are not experienced and competent with the movements, especially when it involves barbells and not trained in many cases, is a terrible idea. These videos are gonna get more attention from me in the future for sure. And so as always, please let me know your thoughts on the issues and concepts raised in this video. I'm James Linker, this is Shredder Sports Science. I'm not really here, it's research. I'm Louis Theroux, I'm Louis Theroux.